Hey everybody, happy 2022. I'm making this video in January of 2022. I want to talk about some recent developments in family law, some trends that I'm seeing, and some, maybe I'll make a series of videos here about things going on in family law, divorce law. Uh, one thing that I'm seeing across USA is the marriage rates are plummeting. Yeah, they're going down pretty soon. Guys like me will be out of business if there's not enough people getting married, then there can't be many divorces. But the fact of the matter is a lot of people are deciding that marriage and the institution of marriage really isn't for them. And it's showing up in the statistics. You know, they keep statistics by county usually of marriage certificates uh, issued or marriage licenses issued. Well, why could that? Why do you think that is? Why do you think the rates are plummeting? Uh, one reason could be videos just like the ones on my channel and other great creators. Uh, you know, now we're in the information age. You can go online and get a lot of information about what happens if the marriage becomes non-functioning. Another thing is there's a whole wave of generation of people who understand that you don't need to bring in state law through the institution of marriage in order to be in a great relationship. You could even do what's known as LAT, L-A-T, live apart together uh, and not get married, where you still have your own place and your partner has their own place, and that creates a terrific environment to grow. Now, there's a lot of pluses and minuses to anything, but I see more and more people opting for that kind of option, and I think it's a great idea, something that you might want to think about. Uh, you need to think outside the box, okay? This isn't the 1960s anymore, so you got to do what's right for you. Think outside the box. You want freedom, right? You don't want to have to be tied up under state law uh, to, to, that will decide the fate of your future if your marriage becomes non-functioning. Go get an initial consultation with a divorce lawyer on a prenup, too, if you're even considering marriage, before you order the wedding invitations. There's a number of reasons for that, but primarily, I've never had a prenup where I'll draft it and the other side says, fine, I'll sign it like it is. Usually there's pushback, there's changes, and as that wedding date approaches, the pressure becomes immense. You don't want that. You want to clean up everything beforehand, okay? It's not a do-it-yourself kind of document. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, comment. I read all the comments. I try to answer as many as I can. Time is tight. Subscribe. Love to have you as part of the community. Be careful out there and do you in 2022. Why don't we make that a bumper sticker? Be careful out there.